Now, as Vassal said, there have been one or two interesting refereeing decisions already. One in particular, Mark Halsey, at the Emirates Cup at the Emirates Stadium, and it involves our old friend Didier, Didier Drogba. Drogba, doesn't it? Which we maybe shouldn't be too surprised about. <laughs> um, Emirates Cup Arsenal against Galatasaray. Um, it was a dive, wasn't it? Simulation. I mean, I called it straight away when I was in the, in the live TV commentary. And, uh, you know, it, it, when you look at that, it's just, it's just embarrassing because, you know, you've got all these young children watching this and he's got, he's got a responsibility to, to, to act in, in the correct manner. And for me, I mean, John Moss is in a great position. He's looking at whether he's gone looking for trouble there, I, I, I don't know. But unless he's taken his eye off the ball, he's lost his concentration because there was nothing going on in the game where referees sometimes do lose their concentration. But if you know, if you know he knows the laws, knows. John Moss. I, I went to Leeds to get away from him. That's why I signed <laughs> for Leeds, because he comes from Leeds. <laughs> he's a big Sunderland fan. Uh, yeah, and, uh, but he's, done t you know, he's made some good decisions on the day, but then he goes, he falls for it. And I always say they know the laws, but not the game, and I think that... That epitomised it. You, you, you're right there, Neil. There was two decisions in the game, two key match incidents, where there was two other penalty shouts that he, he got absolutely spot on. One was in, in this first half here where he's made and contact with Zilla. And they could have been given in yeah. real time. In real time, they could have easily been given. Yeah, they could have easily been fooled. That's what makes it so difficult in, in real time. We're looking at these in real time. So, so he gets made, this one he right. Gets right. Absolutely spot on. Right. Absolutely yeah. great decision. This one, he's, he's got the assistant. I think the assistant's coming and helps near because the assistant's got a great view. It's the assistant referee shout there, and I think over the headset he's told him no, no, no. So then John's got on, John's got on so, and gone so with the, him. So the assistant's done well there, yeah. but this is the reason why, why people like you get fined so much money because <laughs> he makes two good decisions like that, <laughs> yeah. and then we see the drug <laughs> one, and all of a sudden you get an envelope land on your doorstep right. because of what you say post match. Well, I don't get that now. Not I'm now. I'm no, not now. And I, and, I, and, I, and I got him fined two and a half thousand <laughs> last season. <laughs> I can say I can say what I want now. Can't you, I? Get within reason. Well, you'll get a fine now if you don't say it from the. Yeah. At BT Sport Live. That's I mean, the, the thing about Drogba is you, you know what you're getting. You, when you're an experienced referee, you've got to know certain players. You must look into the history, and if you're not sure, you don't give one. I mean, he's, he's been suckered into that, hasn't he? I mean, it? what happens in, when the team sheets come in at an hour before kickoff? The referee will sit down and you will go through who's playing, and if Didier Drogba is on the sheet, you'll be saying, well, it's watch these theatrics, it's watch how the way it goes down, he'll be looking to get everything. And you just got to ignore it and get on what with does, it. What does worry you here, for me as well, is that one game, there's three dives in one game. Well, yeah. I hope that's not what we're going to be up to no. this year. Because I thought we'd got rid of that last right, year. But, I mean, John's made two good decisions. But they won't be talking about that. They'll be talking about... No. Everyone's talking about the drug decision. Yeah.